me now is a Democratic representative of California's 38th district and the incoming chair of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Congresswoman Linda Sanchez, and the co-founder and managing director of United Christina Jimenez. Uh, Congresswoman, May, congratulations on your, on your upcoming appointment. And, and I know you. you were at the White House for some of these meetings. Tell us, if you can, the, the mood inside, inside the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue as, as Hispanic leaders met with the president last night. Sure. I think folks are excited, and I think the overwhelming feel, uh, feeling around the table was that we are eager to see this happen. It's long overdue. It's the right thing to do, and it's the right time to do it. So there's a lot of hope and a lot of encouragement. Did he, the, was the president's mood one of relief, jubilation, excitement, trepidation? No, I, I mean, I think he's excited. Um, I think he's anxious to, um, you know, make the announcement and lay out the plan. And I think, you know, this gets us moving in the right direction and uh, breaks the lack of leadership on passing a comprehensive immigration reform legislatively. Um, Christina, we've talked a lot about the political jockeying around this, but it is undeniable that this changes the reality of tomorrow for millions of people in this country. As a dreamer, I just, what has been your reaction the first time you heard about the outlines of this and in expectation of what the president will say tonight? This definitely feels like a victory to our community, to immigrant communities and Latino communities that have organized really hard, mobilized and put so much pressure on the president and Democrats to take action on this issue, to stop deporting people. So it feels that we've, di we've done a lot of work. We're definitely not getting everything that we advocated for, but it's certainly a victory to have about 5 million people from our families, my parents, who will be protected from deportation. But at the same time, it's an incomplete victory and a bittersweet moment for us because as there's also many families and many members of our community that will not be able to benefit from this program and they will be vulnerable to deportation. Um, Congresswoman Sanchez, in, in terms of what the Republicans will do, one thing, if they're going to do anything, if they're gunning for any kind of action at this moment, it seems to be concerted action to stop this executive action from taking place. I, I wonder if you have heard, I mean, John McCain was quoted in an article this morning asking, questioning whether they, the Republicans had standing to bring a lawsuit against the president for this action. Do you think they will be able to unwind this through any legislative um, mechanisms, whether that that's defunding or lawsuits or maybe somehow shutting down the government as retribution. Well, no doubt the attempt will be made. Um, they are, you know, hell-bent on trying to thwart anything that the president does. Uh, and I think they're exposed because they have no ideas for immigration. They haven't put forth any proposal. They haven't acted on the Senate bill that was passed over 500 days ago. And they're looking to point the finger of blame at the president. And they should be pointing the finger at themselves for their gross inaction on something that is so vital to our country in many ways so and no doubt you know they are going to do what they can to try to derail this but quite frankly I think the train has left the station and I think history will show that it was the it was the right time and it was the right thing to do for the country um, Christina let me ask you in in terms of the activist community they have been unstinting in their criticism of the president in, in terms of his deportations does this effectively end the 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 dubious title that the president is a deporter in chief you know the president has deported over two million people and I'm not really sure unless those people are brought back to be reunited with their families um, you know I'm not sure how do you repair so many families that have been broken but this announcement is definitely significant for our community is very welcome by our community it's incomplete as I was sharing with you because there's many members of our community that won't benefit but our community is ready to continue to advocate and to organize so that all our families will be protected one day you know the same way that dreamers fought to win the DACA program in 2012 and we did not stop there we kept going and now we are up onto this second victory and we will continue to do so so let me ask you the same question, um, Congresswoman, in terms of the president being the deporter in chief for those in the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, does this wipe the slate clean? 
Um, well, clearly, you know, uh, the president tried to work with Republicans. They said they wanted increased border security, um, you know, and so there was an increase in enforcement, and yet the Republicans wouldn't come and sit down at the table and try to work out an agreement. And I think on the part of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, we're very excited. This is a game changer for our community. It's going to be relief for a lot of families who've been living and working here a long time, contributing to their communities. Uh, and so for us, we're looking at it as a very seminal first step in a process that admittedly needs to continue because we still need a permanent legislative fix for this, again, so that we don't have to be looking for executive action in the arena which belongs to Congress to legislate it. So that sounds like a maybe in terms of still being the deporter in chief? Well, I've never called him the deporter in chief well, personally. Fair um, enough. So, so you know, you'll have to ask those that that labeled him that. I think he had a very hard uh, job to do, which is to show that he was serious about wanting to compromise, and he made those efforts as an offering. And yet, he was rebuked on the part of Republicans who reneged on their pledge to tackle comprehensive immigration reform. So again, you know, uh, I, I think it's a tremendous first step, and I think very positive benefits for the country as a whole. Congresswoman Linda Sanchez and Christina Jimenez, thank you guys both for your time. Thank you. Our pleasure. You can catch the president.